So let's see the more examples for the NFA to DFA conversion. So we are writing a very simple language. Let's say the language says that uh, the input alphabets are zero and one and W contains zero. So it may contain zero at any place. It may contain at the start, it may contain in between, or it may contain in the end. So what, what would be the uh, strings? Those will be the part of this. So zero is the smallest string that will be the part of this. Then zero one will also be the part of this. One zero will also be the part of this. One zero zero will also be the part of this. And zero zero one will also be the part of this. It is containing zero at some of the places. So what is the smallest automata? Or what is the smallest string? That is zero. So zero should certainly get accepted. Okay. Now, uh, this is the automata, the simplest automata for, we have drawn it for the smallest string zero. What if I get as zero and one in, in the end? So I should remain at the final state only because we already have accepted one zero. And in the start also, I may get some zeros in the ones. So I should remain at the start state only. If I get a zero, then I should move to the final state, which is B. Now let's draw the NFA for this. The NFA for this would be with the symbols A and B, where A is the start state, B is the final state. Let's encircle this B. So with A on zero, I can move to A also. I can move to B also. On A, with symbol one, I will remain at the state state number A only. With on B, with symbol zero, I will go to B state. And on B with symbol one, I will go to state number B. So this is the NFA automaton, NFA transition table. Similarly, we will draw the transition table for the DFA. So I will only start with A and whatever new states will be coming, I will take the transitions of those. So at a state number A with symbol number zero, I go to A and B both. That's why I will write here as a, B state. So A, B state is a combined state. This will be treated as a single state now. Now on A with symbol small a, I'll remain at A only. Now I'll see the transition from A, B only because A, B is the new state. So now A, B with zero. So I'll see the transition of A with zero. Then I'll see the transition of B with zero. Then we'll take the union of these two. So on A with zero, I you go to A B state. Now on B, on zero, you go to B state only. So if you take the union of these two, that will come out to A B only. Now on A B with symbol one. So you refer to the NFA table, which says that A on one goes to A and B on one goes to B. So if you take the union of these two, this will come out to a, B. Fine. So if I draw the automata for this, DFA for this, so A will be the start state. A, B will be the final state. Whichever the state contains B will be the final state. So since B was the final state in the NFA, so whichever state will contain B will be the final state in the NFA, in the DFA. Okay. So A moves to state A, B on getting a symbol zero. And it remains at state number A only with a symbol one. AB on getting zero remains at state AB. And AB on getting symbol one also remains at state number AB. So this is the final state. The AB is the final state. I'll say that this is the DFA for the given language. So this is very simple. simple. Uh, acceptance is uh, quite uh, obvious. Let's reject some of the strings. So one, one will be rejected. So with A on getting a symbol one, you remain at state number A. On A with st uh, symbol one, you remain at state number A, which is not the final state. So string which is taken is rejected. Obviously, one, one does not contain zero. So that's why this string has got rejected. So I hope this makes sense and we will meet again with a new examples on the NFA in the subsequent lectures. Thanks for watching.